Over the past several decades, Taiwan has gone through a tremendous transformation when it comes to how it looks at tattoos. Body ink was once commonly worn by indigenous tribes before it became the mark of a dedicated soldier. Then it evolved into the preserve of underground gangs before bursting into popularity as the fashion accessory. Today in our Sunday special report, we look at the fascinating history of Taiwan's ever-changing views on tattoos. Eighty-eight-year-old veteran Yan Shizhong has a tattoo on his arm that reads, Repaying the country with supreme loyalty. He'd gotten the tattoo in 1953 when he was stationed in Penghu. Back then, if you didn't have a tattoo, there was something wrong with you. Getting a tattoo meant your thoughts were dedicated to the nation. The tattoos on many veterans' bodies are cloudy, as many have tried repeatedly to remove them, only to have traces remain. After coming to Taiwan, we tried to remove them but couldn't. Before coming to Taiwan, we had to have this proof of our dedication. Without this proof, your words were in vain. We went through many hardships. Thinking about it brings tears. After the war, these veterans made their home in a conservative Taiwan. With the exception of soldiers, almost no one sported a tattoo. One reason was that, after half a century of Japanese rule, tattoos had become taboo. Even indigenous people, who had a tradition of tattooing, were not permitted to have them. But prior to the 1980s, there was another group of people that had tattoos. That group was gang members. In the early days, it truly was like that. Those who came to get tattoos were predominantly from brotherhoods and gangs. This didn't change until Western culture began to enter Taiwanese society, challenging the stigma traditionally associated with tattoos. In the 1980s, celebrities and athletes around the world turned tattoos into a popular accessory. The trend spread like wildfire among fashion-seeking youth. In the Ximending shopping district, some ten-odd tattoo parlors cropped up. Young people have a very strong sense of self. They know very well what it is they want. Like I'll ask, what do you want to get tattooed? They'll want me to draw an X. I'll say, that's a strange thing to tattoo. From my artistic perspective, you need at least an image. They'll say, no, I think it's cool, just an X. That's what I want. In recent years, Taiwanese all the way up to their 40s have been seen sporting new tattoos. With an image in mind, they meet with a tattoo artist to discuss how to bring it to life. The resulting creation becomes a mark of individual expression, a symbol of one's personal philosophy. I got myself this tattoo. Mainly, it represents my desire to behave as if I were in nature. That is to say, I want to take the good with the bad. I want to be able to accept all the parts of myself to let me be me. Initially, one factor that inspired me to get a tattoo was that it would express something I believe in. One should be practical and realistic, and if one decides to do something, it's important to see it through. In Taiwan, the general public is growing more accepting of tattoos. Overseas, the art form has made its way into the exhibits of art museums. France's K. Branly Museum runs one exhibit of tattoos from around the world. So far, 1.5 million people have seen it. This touring exhibit recently came to Taiwan. It gave Taiwanese tattoo artists a chance to show their work alongside tattoos from all around the world. Tattooing has always been a part of underground culture, but now it can also come up here and show itself inside a fine art museum. For every one of us who does tattoos, this is a dream come true. I brought in this exhibit because, first off, I felt that art museums are an open platform. We should support a diversity of voices, a diverse audience, and diverse conversations. This exhibit uses tattoos, or body imprints, as a lens for looking at 5,000 years of human civilization. Xiao Shizhe, a tattoo artist for 26 years, says that in the early years of human civilization, tattoos were used as a form of protection. 
Tattooing started as a way of protecting life. It was a form of totem worship. People would take images that they worshipped or images their culture considered important and tattoo them onto their bodies. This was a way of showing that they had a magical strength. Among Taiwan's indigenous people, the tattoo culture is rich and diverse. Today, when indigenous youth get tattoos, they not only create an artistic expression, but also engage in a traditional cultural practice. In 2015, Kujay Patrigas of the Paiwan tribe went on an exchange with Pacific Island tattoo artists. It was during the exchange that he discovered Taiwan's own long-lost indigenous tradition of hand-tap tattooing. Today, hand tap tattooing is a flourishing art form in Samoa, Hawaii, Tahiti, and the Philippines. To help revive the technique in Taiwan, he used it to tattoo images from Austronesian cultures all over his body. Unlike Kujay Patrigas, who uses ancient tattoo equipment, Yang Jingxiang makes his creations with electric tools. Yang has been a tattoo artist for more than 30 years, and he has won gold at countless international tattoo exhibitions. Separately, his tattoo parlor has won two of Taiwan's three titles at international tattoo competitions. Taiwanese tattooing is very famous worldwide. Why is it famous? Because Taiwanese tattoo artists love to compete. They go to compete at tattoo conventions all over the world. They want people in other countries to see Taiwan. It's true, this is another way in which Taiwan shines. With titles and global fanfare, Taiwan's tattoo artists have become recognized as artists in their own right. And with that, tattooing has become a respectable, attractive profession. Students graduating this year might feel like they have a new career option. For example, those from art design, fine arts and related programs, what do they want to do in the future? They might think, I want to be a tattoo artist. Twenty years ago, there was absolutely nobody thinking that way. Although the tattoo industry has matured, Taiwan legislation has yet to catch up. The only rules governing the tattoo industry are the consumer guidelines set out by the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Overseas, tattoo parlors have to meet basic safety requirements. Recently, there's been some action. Taiwan's health departments in the north, central area, and south have started doing random inspections of parlors and their inks, needles, and sanitation conditions. It shows the government has started to turn its attention to these things. There's no legal age requirement for those who want a tattoo. But tattoo artists say they abide by unwritten guidelines when it comes to minors. If you're under 18 and you get a tattoo, what if your parents aren't okay with it? Given that you aren't legally responsible for your person, what's to be done? Normally, we'd ask you to get a signature from your parents on a letter of agreement to prevent trouble. If we didn't do that, we would frequently get sued. Artists are calling for explicit legislation, complete with regulations and guarantees to help their industry grow. I like to say that tattoo culture is a culture of power. What sort of person gravitate towards a culture of power? A person with a fragile heart. This person naturally likes powerful things. He'll put a tattoo on his body where it provides comfort. Since ancient times, tattoos have been a uniting of strength and art. This is love. It's the character for love. Although I have many tattoos all over my body, I am not a bad person. Tattooing has a history going back 5,000 years. It's taken on different identities throughout different eras, and it's currently enjoyed as an art form. To have a tattoo, one must undergo physical pain. 
but after the pain, a symbol of self is born, one that endures for a lifetime.